The purpose of this project or video was to obtain two LED flashers online used for under $100. They had to be greater than four heads and multi-pattern. I chose to represent at least two major manufacturers and I went with Whalen and Federal Signal. Um, Code 3's modern stuff just really isn't my thing and I chose not to evaluate it because I didn't think they had an equivalent product. I did not go the high end uh, IntelliFlash by Federal Signal, which is a whole separate product line um, and reportedly quite good. And I also did not get into the high end on Whelan's uh, side of things, which is also reportedly a pretty uh, versatile and good product. Um, I went with the lower end uh, multi-head, multi-pattern flashers. Um, what I didn't do, and I probably should have, is gone with flashers that are both being currently manufactured. Because uh, what I found was this Federal Signal 6 channel um, for about $30 and a Whalen 8 channel for about $50. Uh, but the Whalen is still being made, whereas this Federal Signal one has been discontinued. Um, I found the Federal Signal one was quite confusing to put together. Uh, the literature showed that there were two modes and then uh, cutoff switches to cut off groups of lights. But what I found to be the case was really those weren't cutoff switches, they were activation switches. So rather than all the lights coming on and those cutting them off, those activated them. Uh, also, the plug for the activation wires was absolutely tiny. Uh, it was closer to what I've seen slide switches uh, connected internally on sirens with. And the one I got, even though it didn't look like it had been used heavily, uh, the plug was not sitting properly and was causing a bad connection. So I actually had to solder wires onto each pin of the switch and go that route. So that was a huge downside, but it's not made anymore. So uh, the federal signal flash patterns really confused me. I have no idea what they're talking about here. I know that they have to be careful not to steal some wheel in terminology that's become industry standard, but this makes no sense to me. Um, I have no idea how you would just find a simple alternating pattern. Um, and that might be because there isn't one on this flasher. Um, there's some good patterns from what, from my standpoint. Um, some pretty attention getting ones too, but if you just want a simple back and forth wig wag uh, between 60 and 90 flash per minute, it's not included on this flasher. Uh, it's got your standard quad flash and double flash type alternating patterns, but there just isn't a uh, alternating pattern that is a slow single flash. Uh, it doesn't exist. There's a lot of this sort of what I call night rider or chasing or cycle sort of flashing, which I absolutely hate personally. I'm not saying it's a bad pattern. It's just I hate it. Um, also, I found that in between the heads, you didn't always get the same patterns. Um, well, you did, but the way the patterns work is that the different heads do different things. So depending on where you locate the LEDs on the vehicle, you may end up with uh, different locations doing different flashes, which I don't like that idea. Um, I don't think that's incredibly effective unless this were to be used to power, say, a light bar. The only slow patterns they have are simultaneous, all six heads at once, um, which is not necessarily what you would want but as you can see here this is the same pattern and you've got two LEDs sort of chasing each other two simultaneously pulsing um, and two alternating super fast I just don't see what they're getting at here uh, or why anyone would want this for a remote LED flasher it just doesn't seem to offer the basic patterns that people might want and it just goes for these over-the-top sort of arcade game sort of flash patterns that I just don't see a use for. Uh, I understand there's going to be one or two of those in every flasher. I get that um, because the public demands it, right? But that's most of the patterns in this flasher were these just goofy sort of chasing or uh, going back and forth with each other sort of patterns, and I don't understand it. Um, 
that said, my test setup was uh, two Federal Signal Quadra flares and four Whelan uh, 400 series. And I, I did that only because that's what I had that had the plugs on it. Uh, but also I wanted to kind of show uh, the difference. Like this pattern, I don't know what we're doing here. This isn't a traffic advisor pattern. In fact, you can't change the direction. This just does this. I don't know why it does that. It just does. Um, it's not a traffic arrow. It's not any, you can't reverse it. It just does that. And it's, it just, why? Um, but like, like I said, there are, uh, there are usable patterns within here. They just were few and far between and I was kind of left confused. So the Whelan flasher I got is one that people are familiar with, uh, the UFM8, which is actually an LED or a halogen flasher, and it's got some pretty basic Whelan flash patterns on it, um, and also a traffic advisor, um, which I'll demonstrate all of here. Um, and this is kind of a biased comparison because everyone's used to these patterns and uh, these it really wasn't apples to apples like I wanted it to be. This is a currently produced uh, model, uh, whereas the Federal Signal one is has been replaced. So this wasn't as fair a competition as I wanted it to be. But I was much more disgusted with the Federal Signal than I thought I would be. So I guess there's that. Um, the Wheel and Flasher has uh, a good mix of simultaneous and alternating. Um, a good mix of uh, different quad, triple, double sequential flashing. Um, and if you needed to be California compliant, you certainly could be on a good number of these patterns. Uh, if you needed to be uh, NFPA compliant, the same would ring true. Um, I do scroll through these pretty quick here, uh, so it might be hard to distinguish them, but they're absolutely... Uh, all their own pattern uh, aside from the sequential one or the pattern that is itself all the patterns um, and this is an actual traffic advisor this is not just some goofy chasing feature this is a traffic advisor um, and if you wire your six or eight lightheads correctly uh, you can actually do center out and right and left traffic arrow which is kind of hard to see here because they're not laid end to end but that is, in fact, what is happening here. Um, you're getting a sequential to flash like a traffic advisor normally does. So that does work. Uh, it is absolutely an option. And it's counted as a flash pattern. And when you get into it, uh, the activation wires no longer control pairs of lights. They actually control the arrow mode. So you'd have to put it into arrow mode and leave it there. But it, it would be usable. Uh, so cycling through the patterns, like I said, you've got a lot of just very basic usable patterns, which is probably why this is still part of their product line. Uh, whereas the Federal Signal um, has been replaced. Um, unfortunately, the Federal Signal has not been replaced with something equivalent that I could find. Um, you're either doing a little tiny... Uh, tail light brake light sized flasher module or you're doing the full sized IntelliFlash which while I've heard is great might not be what you want it doesn't seem like and I might be wrong Federal Signal currently offers a uh, basic flasher of more than a few heads equivalent to this Whelan one um, and again this Whelan one also has going for it that uh, it, it it will handle halogen lightheads. So uh, you could theoretically on the slower patterns use halogen lightheads. Um, the Federal Signal, that was not the case. But again, I'm, it's not a really fair comparison only because um, this is a modern product that yes, they were offered at the same time, but the Federal Signal one was discontinued, whereas the Whelan one was, um, I'm not sure updated, but continued to be manufactured. I don't know that uh, halogen-wise you would be able to use this for more than maybe six of the patterns, maybe seven or eight, maybe as few as six. 
regardless, uh, it would work as a halogen flasher. Um, the other thing the wheel and flasher has going for it is uh, the plugs that are out plugs or out to the light heads. Um, you kind of get your choice of how you want to hook up to them. As long as you use ground side flashing, um, you can hook up however you want. Uh, it doesn't come with a particular plug style. It just wires out. And then you can feel free to add your own plugs, which I feel like somebody looking for this sort of product is probably going to want to do. Or you can just use regular splice connectors and connect to them. So you're not, uh, you're not walled into using something that has amp connectors, which is nice. Uh, overall, though, the usability, I am used to Whelan products. I'm used to the way they are wired. Uh, I'm just used to installing them. So obviously I found this more usable, but... Uh, the big thing was all of the plugs and wires on this are full size. There's no little mini wires and micro plugs like the Federal Signal one had uh, that just break. Um, all of these plugs are absolutely full size and normal sized wires. So uh, durability wise, this by far wins, even though this is a plastic case and the Federal Signal was metal. Neither one's waterproof, so it doesn't really matter. Um, by far, the Whelan one felt more substantial and felt like uh, I wasn't going to break it messing around with it um, or doing different wiring setups. So very unfair comparison of two products that I thought was going to be a fair comparison, but I went ahead and did the video anyway. Um, so no surprise, I like the Whelan better. I'm extremely biased, but uh, if someone wants to donate me the modern Federal Signal, which is super expensive, I'm game. So. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.